Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm going to give you five reasons that you should move to Denmark. So let's get started. So reason number one, the reason number one is work-life balance. So in Denmark, you work normally 37 hours a week and it is very flexible. You can plan those hours how you would like to work. For example, if you have a doctor's appointment at two o'clock or if you have to pick up your kid at uh, three o'clock, you can get off work and do that. As long as you have a mutual agreement with your boss and uh, it is allowed uh, from the comp speci specifically from your company, then you can go out and do those things and you can plan those hours how you would like to work. If, they, if you would like to work those hours later in the evening from home or you can plan to work those hours uh, uh, later in the week or probably next week. So that's up to you how you uh, work those hours. So it is very flexible. Uh, the next thing is like it's a flat hierarchy here in Denmark. So uh, especially in other countries you call, you address your boss uh, to sir or ma'am. That's uh, you don't do that here in Denmark. So you call them by their names and it is it is uh, that is how it is in Denmark and it is very open relationship like you know you, you have fun with your boss and your colleagues and um, your opinion matters uh, it, it doesn't matter if you're a janitor or a CEO, CEO as long as you're part of that team your opinion matters and people would like to hear that so yeah that is uh, work-life balance here in Denmark so the reason number two education education is very high quality in Denmark it's one of the highest quality of education that you can get in the world it is free for most of the people especially people who have permanent residence or a citizen or from belongs to Euro European countries uh, but you can actually if you work here long enough you can get a permanent residence and you can yourself uh, study or you can your kids can study so uh, it is very of high quality is considered one of the highest quality education that you can get the Danish education system emphasizes more on hands-on practical experience working together as a team rather than uh, working alone and uh, memorization of it because a lot of places there is written exams in a lot of other countries where you have to memorize a lot of stuff and at, at some point all that memorization fades away but uh, the Danish education system is such that you have to understand whatever you are studying because at the end of the uh, semester there is an exam so you have to explain like you have to make a presentation and explain what you have learned in that particular course and then uh, there is an external sensor and your teacher and then there is a discussion between you two and depending upon how it goes and how much you know, how much uh, knowledge you have about that particular topic uh, or the course, uh, the marks are given. So it is very, very nice in that regards because you understand a lot more rather than you uh, memorize it. So yeah, education system is really great here in Denmark. So if you are someone coming only to study, it is uh, you can only expect better from education system. Reason number three. So the reason number three is healthcare. The healthcare in Denmark is for everyone. It is accessible for everyone and it is universal, meaning that it is accessible for everyone despite their social status or level of income. And that is wonderful thing, I think. The life expectancy in Denmark is quite high uh, and that's why a lot of people choose to live here because uh, that is likely due to the high quality medical treatment that people receive and it is easily accessible whenever required and uh, the Danish healthcare system focuses more towards preventative care um, meaning that they run campaigns and encourage their citizens to be healthy and sound and provide the necessary help that they need and by running campaigns they motivate them to be healthy that also reduces the cost for uh, additional uh, expensive medical treatments and that is very nice thing so uh, it is free for everyone who lives in Denmark so the reason number four the reason number four is the safety Denmark is one of the safest place that you can live here in Europe and you don't have to worry about a lot of things especially if you have kids and other things people are very nice and polite to you you don't hear so much about you know social abuse or racial abuse for example because I lived in different countries where I have experienced all this but I lived in Denmark for 12 years now and there was only one time there was this guy who said something to some women 
um, and then uh, that was it that was the racial abuse I heard in 12 years and also uh, that guy apologized to her on national TV so yeah uh, you don't hear so much about this uh, in Denmark people are very nice it's very safe place uh, for you and there's very low criminal activities uh, apart from s uh, small burglaries and stealing of things which is normal everywhere in the world especially if you have kids uh, for example, yesterday I was gonna go get my kids from the daycare, so I was walking and I, I could see that there was this little girl, uh, maybe six or seven years, probably six years old, probably in first standard, she's walking home alone and she was not afraid because you know, in this empty street and it's very safe for kids to go home so you don't have to constantly worry about if you're at work how my kids will get home because it's very safe they can walk home themselves or they can bicycle which a lot of kids do so yeah it is uh, very safe for your, uh, you and your family and yeah everyone who especially the foreigners who comes to Denmark so the reason number five so reason number five is accessibility uh, whether it is food, transportation, paying your tax, paying your bills, everything can be done uh, from your fingertips, you know, and it's inaccessible to you. Uh, for example, transportation, you know, if you live in a big city like uh, Copenhagen or Aarhus, the transportation is as such that uh, you don't actually miss uh, having a car because everything is so connected and there is accessibility. There is bus and train every 5-10 minutes. Um, and uh, if you go to a little bit outside in the suburbs or the small cities, uh, the transportation is also accessible and more frequent than you could imagine. So if you're someone who lives in the suburbs and work and study in the city, so you don't have to worry about a lot of things uh, with, reg with regards to transportation because it is very frequent and accessible. And a lot of people uh, coming from non-European countries uh, uh, think that uh, the food that they have is not accessible here. But that's uh, completely not true. It is accessible and especially people coming from Asia or subcontinent, the food is here available for them. Uh, I come from India and uh, I can get fresh vegetables here whenever I want to because there is a huge bazaar here, you can go get it and uh, there's a lot of shops and if there's something specific that you cannot get here you can actually order it from uh, Germany or UK so it is accessible for you so you don't have to worry about the food uh, or any other things so yeah those were my five top reasons uh, that you should move to Denmark of course there are many more but those were my top so if there's something I missed or you think I should have added uh, I would like to hear your opinion. Please uh, do write that into the comment section. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. For now, thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.